Hi, welcome to the Project Geospatial. I'm Adam Simmons at Geoint 2022. Uh, this round, I have the pleasure of speaking with Akash Parikh yeah. uh, with Pixel. Uh, first off, tell me a little bit about yourself, how you got involved in the geospatial industry, and we'll dive into the company. Yeah, I have a background in frontier tech and enterprise sales for the last eight years, and uh, I was working in ag tech when I stumbled upon a few remote sensing data sets and how they could be used to solve problems with regards to yield estimation in crops. And that's what, that was my first tryst with the power of Earth observation data. And Pixel was a company that was doing this upstream wherein they were actually building a completely new data set um, for hyperspectral data that collects information in far more detail and uh, services multiple sectors, right? The, the mining sector, the oil and gas sector, the environmental sector, also the government. So it really was an opportunity for me to sort of, you know, expand my interest across sectors from just, from just agriculture. Excellent. Uh, so Pixel, what is it? What do you do? We're a space data company and we were established in Feb 2019 following a study of today's existing Earth observation data sets. And we found that there was always some sort of compromise or trade-off. Um, either the data sets were not, uh, they were too coarse spatially or the imaging wasn't frequent enough to get a consistent outlook on a certain phenomenon that was important to track uh, pretty frequently or there wasn't enough spectral detail where we didn't have really the wavelengths to give us the information that really mattered, um, such as vegetation stress or greenhouse gas emissions or pollution levels in a certain water body that we wanted to monitor. And uh, we realized that we needed a better class of satellites um, to be able to solve these problems. And, uh, and that was sort of what inspired the hyperspectral constellation with Pixel, where we're building the world's first five meter hyperspectral constellation um, to be able to detect and discern the planet uh, with a level of spectral detail that today's satellites don't do. So this is a dedicated hyperspectral constellation yeah. at five meter resolution. Correct. So what's the, uh, so what kind of footprint are you looking at for size? Um, so we're gonna go, it's gonna be a total of 36 satellites and when we launch the 36 satellites we will have global coverage and a daily revisit. A daily revisit, yeah. excellent. Um, is, that, is that intraday revisit as well or just daily revisit? Just daily revisit. Okay, uh, how is it, uh, what's, your, what's your business model in terms of um, uh, onboarding, tasking customers, uh, allowing customers to task the satellites um, or uh, selling the imagery to customers? Is there any unique differentiators there? That's a big, that's a big um, a point within our industry. Yeah, so the, the, the satellites are designed for background tasking, so we will be collecting um, archival imagery and making it available to um, the mining, oil and gas, um, as well as the defense and the environment sectors. Uh, having said that, it is possible to be able to task the satellite once our commercial phase, uh, commercial constellation phase launches. Um, so there will be a certain amount of, uh, of tasking capability that will be built into the satellite. We also have a slew capability of 30 degrees on either side. Um, so that's definitely going to be possible and that's going to unlock a few um, disaster management use cases, a few critical defense and maritime use cases. So that's definitely built in. Excellent. Uh, when do you launch? We launched our first satellite last year um, with, uh, with our partners. That was an internal launch where we wanted to prove the concept. So that's already beaming data. We launched our second satellite on the 1st of April um, just a few weeks ago uh, on a SpaceX rocket. Um, and we have another launch coming up in, uh, in August of this year. Um, so we will have three satellites by the end of the year. And uh, the first commercial phase of the Constellation, which will be a batch of six, is what will launch in 2023. Excellent. So just around the corner, huh? Yeah. So uh, do, you, do you imagine by next geo we we'll are probably already set to have you uh, showcasing what you have to offer, huh? Yeah. Well, actually by the end of the year, so before that, and hopefully by the next geo and we'll have the next suite of data sets as well. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, with that said, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You've covered the basis pretty well. Uh, what, uh, while you're here, obviously hyperspectral is a uh, sensor that doesn't, is, is definitely needs a lot more focus from a constellation perspective. Historically, hyperspectral has been a complement on much bigger satellite constellations, unique to data uh, imagery scientists. But now it's becoming more wide, uh, wider use, wider, wider needed across yeah. the board. Um, so, uh, with that said, do you have anything else that you'd like to share about Pixel to our audience? Yeah, I'd love to talk about some of the use cases that we've seen a lot of traction in. 
um, I'd say with agriculture, because with hyperspectral data, you're able to look at the biophysical and biochemical properties. We're able to provide information on crop and vegetation stress a lot earlier than it becomes physically visible, um, which is which is where we're, um, today's constellations start picking it up. Um, so we're able to provide stress information at a much earlier point in the crop cycle. Um, we're able to look at methane emissions uh, along a certain pipeline. Um, so we're able to really um, provide early warning signs to, to the big energy companies because we're sensitive to aerosols in the atmosphere, we're actually able to look at um, greenhouse gas emissions um, and also work with, uh, with large commercial as well as government players to look at carbon sequestration. So I'd say those are the unique opportunities with hyperspectral. Um, and while hyperspectral itself has been in the labs, our innovation is actually making it space born, um, which means providing it at a, at a level that's accessible and affordable. Um, and that's really the big innovation. Excellent. Awesome. And uh, for those interested in uh, getting a hold of you for your upcoming commercialization of your uh, constellation, what's the best way for them to do that? Uh, they can go on to pixel.space. Um, that's our website. And that's um, P-I-X-X-E-L? Yeah, P-I-X-X-E-L dot space. Um, so that's our website. It has plenty of information. We also have a few white papers on the, on the use cases for hyperspectral data that we've published. Um, and there's a button to be able to reach out to us, um, whether you want to be a partner, whether there's a media inquiry, whether you want to be a customer. So those, that's probably the best way to find us. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you giving us your insights on your company. Uh, that's awesome. We all look forward to it. We uh, can't get enough of hyperspectral, of course. And, uh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. Yes, I'm Adam Simmons of Project Geospatial here with Pixel. Uh, we'll talk to everybody next time.